Hello everyone, what is up? It's Brooke Tom right here and today I'm teaching you a few different ways that you can keep your dog occupied either when you're at work or if you know we're stuck in another lockdown. If they just need some boredom busters, I'm here to help you with that. If you're new to my channel, these are my two dogs. This is Seed of the Border Collie. This is Sprinkle, the Italian Greyhound. So both of them are kind of still puppies. That are Sprinkle is such a foodie. Anything food will keep her motivated and keep her entertained. But again, that's not necessarily the same for all dogs. Cedar mostly is play. She does like food and she does like chicken treats, but she mostly is motivated by play and by toys. So I'm going to give you both options today. Um, and then if your dog isn't motivated by anything, then uh, that sucks. And I have nothing for you. First things first, I mean, the easiest way you can keep your dog entertained is by teaching them a new trick. I have a few different trick tutorials on my channel already. There's a few there for you to choose from which are really fun. Teaching your dog a new trick is an easy way to keep their brains working and they also get food rewards as well which keeps them entertained for a long time. But I'm going to try and use things that you might already have around your house as well. This is what I've compiled together. These are just things I've found around the house. These do cost money, but I thought I'd list them anyway. This is a deer antler and you can just get it from any pet shop. And this is just a plastic bone and it's got bone marrow or something on the inside. Two pet shop buys. I mean, pig's ears are great too, but my girls will devour them in like 20 minutes. These are just two things that I found that my dogs love. Okay, so my ultimate favorite and my go-to, especially with Sprinkle, she loves bottles. Sprinkle, because she is such a foodie, she will just get excited when it's her normal breakfast food in here, which is just her bickies, her kibble, whatever. So all I have to do is literally put some bickies down the bottom, close the lid, and that's her good to go. I mean, to make a dog excited, you could shake it. Oh, no spring! And she would just, that's her done now. Another way to keep your dog enticed by this toy is to put a hole in it. Okay, so I've just made about a treat size hole right at the bottom there, close to the bicky, so that the scent is still constantly coming out of this bottle, which will keep her entertained. I'm just gonna put this away because otherwise she'll be shaking it constantly during the video and no one wants to hit it. Okay. My next idea is toilet rolls or paper towel rolls. I'm gonna get a bit of chicken. I'm going to fold the sides in so push them like this, just like you'd fold a present or something. Let's let us fold the bottom. And I mean, there's a little hole there, but no chicken will be falling out of that. So I'm gonna put the chicken in there and then fold it back up, like a little dog present. A little present for the girls. And that's your treat. Be careful if you have like a boxer or a Labrador or something, you would probably literally eat this whole thing. I'm on it to my dogs when they have brain busters anyway, just in case they ingest something. Just fold up a little roll and that'll keep your dogs entertained trying to get that food out for a while. <laughs> okay, another less loud. So if you're working from home or if you have a Zoom meeting or something is get your favorite pair of socks. Hopefully big, warm, fluffy socks. These are actually sprinkles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get both socks and fold them inside each other. I know, for Christmas I had to get my dog a pair of socks because she loves stealing mine. I'm gonna get a bit of chicken and I'm gonna put that right down the end. Boom, a quiet boredom buster. You can put food in literally anything. And if your dog's motivated by food, it's so easy to keep them entertained. Go get it. Okay. That is a quieter version of a boredom buster because it's not going to uh, bang everywhere like a bottle will. So if you've got meetings or something, that's a great idea. Also, another place you can put your food is inside a tennis ball. Alright, so I've just got some scissors and I put a little slice in this tennis ball. Bring your toy toy here. Yum. Oh. Be careful of that happening. This is the hole. Put a bit of chicken in. I don't see her getting this out, to be honest. She might. She might break it with her teeth and stuff, but the amount of entertainment this is going to give this girl, because it's so hot, it's basically not gonna come out. Doesn't matter how much you roll it around. She's gonna have to find a way to break this open. Otherwise, it's just gonna stay in there. And I mean, if it stays in there, I'll just chuck it in the bin and it'll just keep her entertained for so long. This is another good quiet option. If you're working from home and you're in a Zoom meeting or if you know you have kids and the kids are sleeping, 
So it's a great way to keep the dogs quiet. So I'm gonna see how she responds to this. Hey, Seedy, she's still on the sock. Oh, wow, that's a boy. What have you got there? You can smell it in there, can't you? Woohoo, seed. Peter, go get the ball. Another option for a food orientated dog is getting a piece of chicken or a piece of meat or anything that's gonna entice your dog. Putting it in, this is packing paper because we're moving at the moment, hence the dirty house. But if you go get chicken for your dogs or something and you get it in the deli wrapping, um, just use that. I think I'm literally gonna chuck it in the middle, wrap it up like a little dog present. Scrunch it up. What's next, she says. What's that, Sprinky? Now just be careful that if your dog does take it away or if you do have something ingestible like paper or a toilet paper roll, they could swallow it. So I'm always keeping my eyes on my girls if Sprinkle doesn't. She just chews it up and spits it out, but Cedar would probably eat the paper. <laughs> You're loving it, aren't you, Sprinkie? Oh, Cedar. Are you ready to go play? Let's go play. Alrighty, so easy one for play orientated dogs. Here's obviously a little bit of fetch. Woo! Go Cedar. <laughs> Dang, that Aussie sun is bright though. Another one as well that's easy to forget is water. I literally can just chuck on a sprinkler and she's into it. Go get the hose. You wanna play with it? Do you wanna play with it? Can you drop? Good. Get back. Okay, go get it. Okay. Hey. Okay, get your toy. I love it. Go, city. Especially on a summer's day where it's hot. See ya. See ya. That's really nice. Oh, but yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as well, if you have any other ideas for people watching this video, please post them in the comments so that this can be a video for people to come to and get ideas, not only from me, but from everyone across the world, helping with keeping your dog entertained because it is super important. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.